Welcome to support this TV. Damn it, boy. First and foremost, man, rest in peace to Dolph. But if you look at these pictures right here, you see different pictures of Billboard's showing off Dolph album. Dolph album was on Billboard's in three different time zones. Gazi at Empire really put a lot of marketing dollars behind promoting this album. And I think they did this was because Dolph was not here to promote it himself. Because I think they might have promoted this a little bit harder than they ever promoted any other Dolph album. I remember going to Atlanta, though, when um, Dolph and Key Glock came out with Dumb and Dumber. I remember seeing Dumb and Dumber on uh, trash cans and stuff like that. The trash cans was wrapped downtown Atlanta. But anyway, Dolph, they just released Paper Route Frank. It's 13 tracks. Hard album, man. The production hard. The lyrics hard. It's a dope album, man. You know, um, I can't, I think I heard like one song that might have sound kind of dated because some of the references Dolph was making. But the main thing I was hoping to not hear was a Yo Gotti diss. Because I hated their whole situation, man. I hated it, man. You know, because, you know, I hate it. Because I love Memphis music. And I just hate to see people feuding. You know, but I heard one song that could be perceived as something. But the album was dope, man. We're going to keep the video positive. The album was dope, man. It sounded really good. If you haven't listened to it, listen to it. If you're a real Dolph fan, you've been a Dolph fan since High Class Street Music, then check it out. You know, High Class Trap Music. However you go. You've been a Dolph fan since I didn't really start rocking with Dolph to um, um, uh, King of Memphis. I didn't really know much about him until then. You know, I was kind of late. Some of the other guys, they ain't start listening to Dolph till he died. So whoever you are, if you like great music, you like good music, and you like Dolph, check this album out, man. I think this album going to do some numbers too, man. And I hope his family is very well compensated for his work. You know, but check it out, man. 13 songs. You got songs like Hall of Fame that came out, songs like Getaway, which is one of my favorites. You know, Always, also one of my favorites. You know, he got a couple songs on there, like Streets, Fell Over the Streets. You know, that's like the first song on the album, man. It's dope. You know, it's, it's a, I mean, it's a lot of good music on there, man. You know what I'm saying? It's dope. It's 13 tracks, man. But hey, let me know how you feel, man. I'm AKA Band Sports TV. Like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'm out. Peace.